Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and it's Monday, so mini Monday Madness. Yes, we're painting a very cute little dainty um, autumn bouquet in like a mason jar vase. Ink and wash watercolor. It's almost like your paint by number kind of situation. I go everything step by step. If you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place people go and support my channel, and I have ad free videos, traceables, reference photos exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and live stream once a month on the top tier as well as download from me. You can check it out up here. Boop. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification, please do so. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, for supplies, we'll go over the supplies as always. Three inch square of arch, 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I'll be using my four and number six long round Princeton Velvet Touch series and a Sharpie fine point permanent marker. Paints I go over them as I use them, water jars, paper towel. So if you, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. If not, you can watch me draw the little guy. It's already traced in here, but I'm gonna go over my Sharpie. So we're gonna make the sunflower here first. As you can see, it's an oval on its side. And then you've got the petals kind of going like here. Like so. You can always slow down the video to see the drawing and wiggle the leaf. Wiggle, wiggle, leaf. I'm going to add another leaf in here. Uh, then I have like a uh, kind of like a mum flower here. This kind of looks like a squiggle. And I have some black eyed Susan, so it's like a little half moon with some petals. See? Upside down, up circle and we've got like a poppy kind of flower here and got another sunflower kind of going out here just like that it's so much fun to do this sharpie because it's like paint by numbers and do another little leaf wiggling in here then we've got the little leaf sprays so the stem and then there's little teeny leaves off the stem. Another one up here. The stem connecting from the Black Eyed Susans. We got another little wiggle leaf here. And another spray stem. And a leaf here. And a spray stem here. And I had another, like, fallen daisy kind of here and a leaf here and then I'm going to do the jar so underneath a couple of lines and then it's going to be indented going down indented going down and then a curve on the bottom and then you can meet that curve here and we're just going to do a little dashed line curve for where the water would be and then we're going to end stems so like that and they're going to crisscross and down lines again and crisscross. Some will be shorter. See? Like that. And do another one kind of in there. And you could add more sprays or more leaves, whatever you want. I might add like another little leaf thing that's not in my traceable that I decided to add. So that's our little jar. Isn't it cute? Once that's all drawn. I'll take my gum eraser, my needed eraser, I'm sorry, and I'll just erase those pencil marks. And then we can just fill it in like a paint by number. But before we do that, if you want to do detail with the paint, uh, the Sharpie, you can also do that. I'm going to go in and fix some of these print. Uh, so little teeny lines of the petals of the sunflower closer towards the center. It just gives it that extra oomph. You can even do little dots. You can put the veins in, the leaves. You know, all these little things. You can make the lines a little bit thicker around some of these flowers and petals and leaves. Thick and thin. Just like that. And then we'll put some little lines here on this flower. 
all those little details. Here we go with the veins on the leaf. They all, they all add up to making it different and really special. I mean, I just like it as a black and white, right? It's kind of cool. I feel like these stems got kind of lost. I'm just going to go back over there a little bit. Okay. And like I said, you can do like indentation of the flower in the center. And now we're just going to fill it in like a paint by number. Get number four. Let's do these sunflowers. Bright yellow. Got some of this nice brilliant orange here too. I'm going to play around with using both of these. Just going to fill in those little leaves. Ooh, that's super bright. But I kind of like it like that. And yeah, re really, once you draw everything in, it is literally like a paint by number. That's a really nice bright yellow. Like a mustard yellow. French's mustard yellow. And listen, if you don't paint in between the lines, don't worry about it. Then you're going to figure out what color. Well, actually, the black-eyed suit is really bright yellow. So put that yellow up here. Like so. And then I think that little mum color would be like a nice, pretty... We've got the magenta, right? I'll add a little yellow to that. A little teeny bit of Prussian blue. So more of like a cranberry red, right? You see that? Oh, there we go. Hard to see that. So look up, I'll add a little more magenta and a teeny bit more Prussian blue. Oh, now I got two purple. You see? You gotta just keep balancing it, adding more pink and a touch of that yellow. And a little more magenta. And here we go. We got the color. Gonna water it down just a little bit. And then we'll fill in that color here. We have this nice reddish color. Just like a squiggly flower. Then we're gonna use that brilliant orange. Mix a little yellow in there. And do this one. Nice orange flower. Um, I forgot this little daisy down here. So now we need some greens, right? So I've got my yellow. I'm mixing some peacock blue and some yellow. I get a nice bright green. You take that same green, you add some Prussian blue to it. See, it's a Prussian blue. You add some yellow. Got a nice deep green. I'm going to use this bright green first, though. I'm going to fill in those little leaves. It's just like a paint by number. Some flowers have like a nice deep dark leaf and stem. So let's put that stem in there, color in the stems. All right, but then we want to brighten up with some more bright greens. I'm going to add a little more yellow. To the screen. I want a bright green. Balance that green. Put some bright green up in here. And over in here. And over here. Alright. And here. And now we gotta put that Kind of down in the stems down here, crisscross those colors. Now I'm going to take this front umber we have back here. See that? Going to add a little bit of yellow to it. Going to water that down. I'm going to fill in those little sprays with that color because you want these autumn tones. Teeny weeny sprays. Kind of fun to paint though, isn't it? Spray, spray. <laughs> and of course, put some brown stems here. There we go. 
Now we need our centers. Before we do our centers, I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow orange in here. A little bit of orange kind of going around this sunflower here. All right, the center's going to be dark brown, black. So I'm adding some black wash to my brown that I had. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to leave this little part white right there. Gonna fill this one in. The black eyed Susan's, of course, a black. Oh, didn't even realize you couldn't even see this. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> well, we did the stems and we filled in this little stuff with brown. You saw some of it. And I'm just gonna go in and fill in the black eyed Susan. See, I'm trying to get everything in the paint. I can't get everything in the paint and that. This one, I think, mm, should I put that one black? I don't know, it's a lot of black. Let's put a color in there. Let's put that, maybe like a yellow in the center of that one. I don't know enough this, so you have to see me color and everything. You can figure it out. Okay, and now the jar. I'm gonna take Peacock Blue. Get rid of some of this green here. You want like a mason jar color, which is turquoise. So I got the peacock blue. And I added it to that green. You got that turquoise -y color. A little more blue. Now, I got the color. I want to water it down quite a bit. But I'm not going to put all that watery paint on my brush. I tap it off on the paper towel, get rid of the excess. And then I can go in. Right, and I can fill in the the jar as mason jar. It's a green turquoisey color. And then here's the water line. We'll get that one a little bit darker. So, see how I just painted it kind of here and left a lot of white space? And now, it's gonna dry a bit. But you can take the turquoise, I'm going to add a little brown to that. Put some of that dark color. So I've got the turquoise, some of that out here. Oh, sorry. So, peacock blue. A little bit darker. Kind of bleeding here, where that water would be. You see, just in the lower part, and the rest is kind of lighter. And then you can take some of that darker peacock blue, just kind of give it a highlight on the side here, and over here, and up underneath the jar. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to add a little bit of the green to the stem. Some of the stems weren't filled in. But yeah, this is how you do the little paint by number. <laughs> Isn't it precious? Now I've kind of lost my halo. I can always just go in and grab some white gouache. You gotta love the white gouache. And my little teeny brush. See, and a little gouache. And I can go in here and put the halo in there. So it's more predominant. And not only that, take the white gouache. If you messed up here and you want to put like a little highlight of the jar, you see that? It's like magic. I swear to God, it's like magic. <laughs> you can also mix the white gouache with some of your color. Like here's that pretty pink that we did. And you can make little highlights. Or even white wash itself, and little highlights. Check that out. See, I'm just tapping it, and it's lighter. And then you can notice the fuzzy flower more. Isn't that cute? Precious. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fun mini Monday madness. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a um, comment if you have a comment. Uh, hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. So take care guys and enjoy.